In this video, I'll talk about the breakdown voltage. Before talking about the breakdown voltage, let me give you a little bit idea about how does the gap between the plate changes the capacitance. The capacitance of a parallel plate capacitor is given by this equation. And the electric field inside the capacitor, if this is a capacitor, the electric field inside the capacitor is given by this formula, where, the, where V is the potential between the plate and D is the distance. As you can see, if we change the distance, the capacitance will change. By, by decreasing the distance, the capacitance will go up. Same thing here, if we decrease the distance, the electric field inside the capacitor will go up as well. So the breakdown, the voltage for a capacitor is the minimum voltage. Is the minimum voltage that causes the dielectric inside the capacitor to become conductive. What does that mean? That means, just take a look at this capacitor here. So this capacitor has the capacitance of 200 microfarad and the working voltage or the breakdown voltage is 300 volt. What does that mean? That means if we apply more than 300 volt across this capacitor, let's say 500 volt, then the dielectric inside, let's say this is the dielectric, this dielectric inside the capacitor will start conducting. It will become, this is an insulator. Even this insulator will start conducting. And the reason is the electric field, the electric field between the two plates will be so high that it breaks down the insulating layer and becomes conducting and in that case the current will start flowing through this insulator and the current will be so high that the capacitor will blow away and that's the reason that we should never exceed this 300 volt all the capacitors has the working voltage if you exceed above the working voltage the insulating layer Will, will become conducting and the capacitor will blow away. So the, so the breakdown voltage for a capacitor is the minimum voltage that caused the dielectric inside the capacitor to become conductive. In this case, this 300 voltage is the breakdown voltage. So this capacitor just works fine under 300 volt, but if you exceed 300 volt then you're just going to blow away the capacitor just because the dielectric inside the capacitor will start conducting let me give you an example for air if a capacitor has an air as a medium then the for the air the the breakdown field is 300 3 mega volt per minute per sorry 3 mega volt per meter so if the electric field across the capacitor, if this electric field across the capacitor is great, greater than 3 mega volt per meter, then it will start conducting. So here I have chosen some of the, uh, the, the dielectrics whose breakdown voltage is given. Let's say for example, paper. The paper dielectric constant is 3.5 but the breakdown voltage is 14 breakdown field, not the voltage. The breakdown field is 14 mega volt per, per meter. What does this mean? And remember, one mega volt is given here. One mega volt is one times 10 to the six volt. That means if the electric field across the capacitor is greater than four, uh, 14 mega volt per meter, then it will start conducting. It will rupture the, the capacitor or the capacitor will 
blow away. The similarly for nylon or for water, it depends upon the uh, purity. For, uh, for bakelite, it is 24. That means you should never exceed exceed the that the breaking voltage if the breaking voltage if we apply the breaking voltage then the electric field will exceed 24 mega volt per meter okay if the if a capacitor uses the bakelite and if the breakdown field is greater than 24 mega volt per meter then again it will start conducting and the capacitor will blow away and this is the reason that all the capacitor have the working voltage and we should never exceed the the breakdown voltage and the reason again the, the dielectric will start becoming conducting and the capacitor will blow away so this is it for the breakdown voltage and again if you have any questions regarding the breakdown voltage just write your questions in the comment section below and do not forget to subscribe my channel. Thank you so much.